Hi guys, how you doing today? I know it's been a couple of weeks. Um, I decided to try to space out the lessons. So um, again, email me or have your parents text me if you have any questions or problems with any of the material. Um, so today we're gonna be going over page uh, 22 and 23 in the Essential Elements book. Um, so we've got a couple of new notes, E flat and B flat, but if you've been doing your finger exercises, then the physical part of doing them shouldn't be a problem. So last time I had Bilbo Bunny with me, this time, this week, I have Frodo Frog, and he's just going to sit and watch and make sure my posture's correct and all that stuff. <clears throat> so, um, all right. Uh, this week, I have a bonus video for you, uh, some bluegrass favorites, uh, and I have a guest artist playing with me again. Um, I've had Tess before. Um, this time I have my brother uh, playing guitar with me, so um, check it out. The link is in the description below. And our, um, our trivia question for the week is um, we have studied or learned about two composers who lost their hearing during their careers. One of them is the German composer Ludwig von Beethoven. The second one is a Russian composer. See if you can find his name. Um, I know uh, intermediate kids, I know that we did that. Um, we talked about him before. Somebody did a, a composer bio on him and it was the new fact I learned about him was his lost hearing. So see if you can find out who that was. All right, uh, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start with tuning. Here's your A. Here's your D. And your G. And your E. Great. So let's start with the finger exercises that we learned on the last couple of lessons. The finger ge fingerboard geography where we have the red, blue, and the two yellow finger patterns. I thought of some better names for those yellow ones, so I'll tell you when we get there. I'm going to do them on the D string today. And remember when you're practicing, you should be doing them on all four strings. But I'm going to, to save time, I'm going to do them just on the D string. So here we go. Here's our first, our red finger pattern. And now our blue finger pattern, remember that's with the low second finger. So you have your half step between one and two and three and four are whole steps away, okay? All right, good. And now we have our yellow finger pattern where our half step here is between the third and fourth finger. So you have a whole space between the first and second finger and a whole space between second and third finger and then third and fourth finger are right next to each other. Now our A, our yellow A finger pattern, we're gonna call it yellow apples, all right? Our first finger is gonna go on the tape. So first, second finger on the tape, third finger is gonna go above the tape and fourth finger on the tape, all right? So here we go, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now, our B yellow finger pattern, we'll call it yellow bananas, is the same finger pattern, only you're gonna put your first finger low in the space between the open string and the first finger, okay? So you're gonna put your first finger in that space, then a whole step away means the second finger is gonna go in the space between the first and second tapes, third finger is going to go on the tape, and fourth finger is gonna go in the space, all right? So, and this is our new note, E flat and B flat, uh, e flat on the D string, B flat on the A string, and F natural on the E string. All right, here we go. All right, awesome. 
So I hope you're keeping up with those. And um, again, feel free to have your parents email me or text me if you have any questions or problems. I'd love to see videos of your playing and see how you're coming along. I miss seeing you guys. And I guess I won't see any of you now until summer camps or until fall. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to uh, kickstart back into the world again. All right, so let's go ahead and look at uh, page 22. Uh, so we did Let's Read E flat last time. Uh, we're going to play Hot Cross Buns, number 100, with the low first finger. All right, good. So that was our yellow finger pattern there, our yellow bananas, okay, with the low one, whole step to two, and whole step to three. <clears throat> All right, now at the bottom of page 22, we have our new note B flat on the G string, which is our blue finger pattern. So if you look at the little finger dots in the orange box on your page, whoops, there we go. All right, you can see that it's the blue finger pattern where one and two are next to each other and three is a whole step away and four is a whole step away. So we're gonna do number 102, Viking Way. One, two, Ready, go. All right, nice, that wasn't too difficult. All right, now we're gonna move up an octave in number 103, I'm moving over to page 23 now. Um, hiking along is actually the same melody and octave above, and we're using our yellow bananas finger pattern here with our low ones, okay? All right, so here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the same melody. It's inverted. So that means they took the note pattern and they flipped it over, but they started an octave above. You'll, you'll hear it when I play it. All right, here we go. All right, good job. So that was new for you. All right, another new thing is a new key signature. We have done D with two sharps. That was our first key signature. Then we did um, G with one sharp. Uh, then we learned um, C with no sharps and no flats. And then we learned um, F with one flat uh, earlier on in this book. And now we have uh, two flats, okay? So this is B flat key signature. All right, and we have B flat and E flat in the key signature. So we have a scale to go along with it. And next series of lessons is going to be on scales and scale, ways to practice them. Uh, so right now, just practice them from the book. And there is a great review section of the scales in the back of the book. Um, on page 44 and 45, you have some great exercises that just go over all the scales that you've learned in the two books. All right, so take a look at those, practice those on a regular basis as well. Um, all right, so remember we talked before about the order of sharps. So sharps always go in the same order. If there's only one sharp, it's always going to be F. If there's two sharps, it's always going to be F and C, right? And we had our silly sentence, fuzzy cats get dirty after every bath, okay? Um, so flats are in the opposite order. So you can just remember them in backwards order, or you can make up another silly sentence to go with the flats. So I have a silly sentence for the flats, big elephants and dumb giraffes can't fly. All right, so that's the order of the flats. If there's one flat, it's always going to be B. If there are two flats, it's always going to be B and E and so on, okay? So big elephants and dumb giraffes can't fly. That's the order of flats. <clears throat> and um, there's a little trick to learn the key signature, and we will get to that um, further on down the road. Right now, you just have F, which has one flat, and B flat, which has two flats, okay? All right, so number 104, our B flat major scale. <laughs> All right. 
right, great job. <clears throat> and remember, use pause and rewind to go over any of these things again. And um, if you have, if you stumble on any of these songs, feel free to use our four steps to learn the songs, right? So the first one is to clap and sing the note names. The second one is to uh, pizzicato, right? And the third step is to use your bow on your shoulder and practice the bowing pattern and sing the note names. And the fourth one is to put all the pieces together right so make sure to work on each step until each step is comfortable before you go to the harder step um you want to be careful that you don't just stick skip from um not being able to play it to trying to put all the pieces together because you'll just get frustrated um all right so we're going to go on to number 105 slovakian folk song and i'm um, still sticking in our same uh key signature so we have low um we have b flat and e flat so it's going to be low one on D and A, right? That's our yellow bananas finger pattern. And on the G string, we're gonna have our blue finger pattern, okay? <clears throat> Remember, finger patterns aren't the same all the way across all the strings for a key signature. Each string might have a different finger pattern based on the key signature. All right, <clears throat> so Slovakian folk song number 105. play it again for you a little bit slower try and play along um, and again stop and rewind our great tools for you all right here we go That should have been a little easier. All right, now we're looking at number 106, Cavalier Country. And this one has staccato dots on the quarter notes. So you want to make sure to play those notes short sounding, right? And remember, do, to do that, we move the bow faster, but we don't speed up the tempo of the song, right? So instead of la, 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 we're going to go ta, 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 ta. Okay, so you move the bow faster, get a nice staccato, but you let space happen between the notes. Okay, all right, so Cavalier Country, there's no tempo marking for this one, so I'll go about the same I just did for Slovakian Folk Song. And again, we're still in the same B flat key signature, so we have our, uh, our yellow bananas finger pattern on the um, A string and the D string, and it, when we go to the G string, we have the blue finger pattern, okay? Three, four. Bow circle. All right, great job. And finally, Song number 107 is an Essential Elements quiz. Ain Kylo Kainu. I think. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Um, but it's a really pretty little melody. All right. So, again, still in our B flat key signature. It's on the slower side. Andantino is a little slower, right, than Andante. Okay. And so on the G string, what finger pattern are we going to have? I hope you said blue. And on the D string and A string, what finger pattern are we gonna have if we go up there? Right, the yellow bananas finger pattern. Okay, um, good. So we're gonna go ahead and play this one. And again, use the four steps to get your fingers in order to learn them, uh, learn these songs. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right. 
right. I made a couple of mistakes in there. Um, to be perfectly honest, I was sight reading and I didn't catch everything uh, in the music, whoopsie, the first time uh, I looked at it. So let's take a look at what I could have done better and then I'll try it again. So the first phrase is mezzo piano, right? So we want to be soft on that section. Then the next couple of measures are mezzo forte. So we want to be louder there. All right. Now looking at the second line, the second measure has a retard on, at the bottom. So we're going to slow down there. And then we have that little I symbol, the fermata, over the E flat. So we're going to hold that for an extra beat. Then we do a bow circle in the rest. And the next measure after that has a tempo underneath, which means we go back to our original tempo. And there is actually a note there that says that. So uh, I'm going to try it again and see if I can make it more musical. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. I'm much happier with that playing of it. All right, so I hope you have fun. Make sure and check out the bonus video that I have linked in the description below and check out other resources on my website. Um, I hope you guys are hanging in there with this quarantine and um, I hope we can get together and I can see you maybe over the summer. We can just get together and play some music. So um, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.